Hi, I'm Annie with Byannie.com and Patterns by Annie. I often feel like it's Christmas every day around here because we get so much wonderful fabric in the mail. And today is an extra special day because we've received the fabric that we're going to be using um, for a special promotion that we're doing with Free Spirit Fabrics. Uh, Valerie Wells has designed a new line of fabric called Enchanted, and we're participating in a blog tour with them next spring to showcase this beautiful fabric. So they've sent each of us a big box full of fabric. We haven't seen it yet. I've only seen Val's um, video where she and announced it and so they've they've sent us these and now we get to play and have fun and figure out what we're going to do with it so I hope you'll join me in my excitement as I open this box and see what's inside so it's gonna take me a minute to get some of this packaging out of here I'm gonna get rid of the box and then we'll um, see what's here so they had told us that they would be sending us half yard pieces of all the fabrics and then a piece that we can use for backing on a quilt. Obviously we're not big quilt makers, so we'll find a use for this um, green fabric as a lining for something, but ooh, that's beautiful. I love the color. Can't wait to see what's in this box. I think though we should open this envelope first in case there's some special instructions. So the one thing about this line, which Valerie is calling Enchanted, is that it's all designed using wood blocks that she has carved. And she did a great video for Free Spirit for their Inspired By series maybe a week or so ago. So I'd say um, late October, early November. Search for it if you haven't seen it. And she talked about how she carves these blocks and then prints them on fabric and then manipulates them in the computer to resize them, make them smaller and larger, combine them in sets. And it was really fun to see and hear how that works. So let's see what we've got inside this envelope. All right. So it looks like a letter that invites us and tells us about Marrakech. Marrakesh and Morocco, where she visited. She says in November 2019, she made her fourth visit to Marrakech, where she was holding a retreat. And she's got some pictures in here of the places that she visited. Wow, the color on these is absolutely phenomenal. What a beautiful, beautiful place to visit. I can see why she loves it so much. In her video that she did, she had a whole design wall where she had pictures all over the wall, and that was so inspiring to see. But my goodness, these colors are almost too good to be real. What a beautiful place that must be. I love seeing this whole line of camels going across the desert sands. I'm assuming that Val's on there somewhere. I know she talked about having ridden a camel while she was there. This is another picture that's really stunning, the way the, the fruits and vegetables are um, displayed in the market in geometric patterns and beautiful colors. What a beautiful place to visit. Beautiful blue door or piece of furniture, I guess that is. I love blues and I love these bright, rich pinks and magentas, so I'm really looking forward to seeing this line of fabric. All right, let's look and see what else. Oh my goodness, look at this. What else came in the box? A beautiful piece of her indigo fabric. Val loves dyeing fabrics using indigo dye, and then she prints on top of them. So let's move this over so we can see this. So all of these designs are designs that she has carved onto wood blocks, then dipped in paint, and then pressed onto the fabric that she's dyed. So you can see all the, the various layers Here's a dark blue layer at the bottom, and then just she adds to them as they go. So that will be really fun to incorporate into one of our projects that we use. I hope we can. I noticed that in her video when she talked about it, she said that she takes pieces like this that she's prepared ahead of time. She takes them on her trip, and then she does stitching on these throughout her trip as she goes. So what a wonderful way to remember a place and remember a trip by doing some special stitching like that. I may have to try my hand at some, some embellishment on this in addition to her stitching. All right, let's see what's in this beautiful box. 
I love how they've hidden it and made it feel like you're getting a present, which we all are. So all this beautiful purple tissue. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a lovely explosion of color. And look at this. Aw. It's a postcard that Val made, and it, it says, Express Your Inner Beauty. So she's got parts from the line. She must have printed this. I can't tell if that's fabric or not, but it's definitely fabric on the outside. And she's pieced all the different pieces together. How beautiful. That gives me some ideas for ways that I might incorporate the fabric into some of my, my projects. So let's take a look at these gorgeous fabrics. So again, they sent us half yard pieces, which is a lot if you're making quilts. For us, since we make so many bags, usually we work with two yard pieces. So we're going to have to get creative with these and maybe do either some smaller projects. We were thinking maybe some of our clam up bags, um, our travel essentials bag, which is a hanging cosmetics bag, our easy does it. But I'd also like to make some bigger bags. To me, Val's inspiration for this, this whole line was her trip to Morocco. And so what I see on it is a set of travel bags. So that's kind of what we're thinking we're going to do. And if you look at this ultimate travel bag that we made using Tula Pink's fabric, you can see we mixed and matched a whole lot of different fabrics to make it. So that's kind of what we're thinking we might do with this line of fabric. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Oh my goodness, these are so pretty. This one is of particular interest to me. I was really looking forward to seeing this one. So while Val was there, she visit, visited a um, place where it's a, a special school for teenage girls. And one thing that they do each day is recite affirmations. And so she, while she was there, she did a project with them where she carved the words in English and also in Arabic on wood blocks and then the girls um, stamped them onto fabrics and did it. But every day they start the day by saying, I am, and then followed by s different affirmations. So I am created, creative, I am talented, I am brave, I am fearless, I am kind, which I love that idea. And I was thinking that this fabric might be fun to use in, for instance, our Travel Essentials, which is a hanging cosmetics bag, but to use that on the lining and so that you're reminded of those every time that you, you know, get dressed or you travel and you have all of your, your um, travel supplies in the bag, just something that you see on a regular basis to remind you of all those things. So that's this is a beautiful blue range. I also really love this one. This one is beaded zigzags. And I think that would be so gorgeous for borders or handles or something like that. She's got one here with birds and olive branches. So really a really pretty set of blues. Then, of course, we're always looking, when we make bags, we usually look for something dark for an outside, which to me, these blues would be perfect, and then something um, that makes a really good contrast, and maybe that reads as a solid that we can use for handles and straps. And I love how this orange coordinates with the blue. That is so pretty. The pink could go with different sets, too. We've got some really pretty solids. And oh my gosh, these solids have such a soft feel. They almost feel like suede. So, so pretty. We don't often work with solids in our projects, but I can definitely see that those would be nice mixed in with some of these others. We've been debating about doing some um, bags that maybe have a little bit of patchwork in them. And this will be a fun set to try that with. So then we move into some pinks that are the same designs but different colors. Some beautiful greens. This would be a really pretty one to use for an outside or for a lining, either one. Oh my gosh, these greens are just gorgeous. 
another pretty tile print. And again, these were designs where she, she, she carved these little designs on a wood print in a much larger style because she said it would be so impossible to get that detail in the small one. But then when she brought it into the computer, she was able to make it smaller and rotate them so that she could put four together to get the design. So this is the same design as this, just on a much larger scale. So you can see the she accented different parts of the design. In this one, she created some really pretty secondary designs by making these different colors here with the colors being more muted and monochromatic, they, it gives you a whole different effect. So that's really fun to see. I loved hearing her stories of all the designs. This one in particular, she calls her sand print. So this was uh, inspired by her camel riding trip. And it's just a great neutral that is, as you can see on the postcard she sent, just a really nice way to offset some of those beautiful colors. So a good background, and I love how it gives you kind of a white-on-white -white effect with um, the design in the background. So we are going to have some fun figuring out what to do. Here's the birds again, and this one is really pretty. This has not only, this is kind of a combination of everything. So she's got the beads, the stars, the birds, the olive branches, the tiles, the words. This is really gorgeous. I can see this. A lot of times if we decide to do a little set like our clam up bags, there's five different bags and we'll usually pick something that kind of brings all the colors together and then mix some of the other ones in with it. So we could maybe do, um, and especially on some of the smaller bags, you need smaller prints. So we could maybe do this for the largest and the smallest and the middle one, and then mix another color in for the two that offset that, so that when you set them out, you've got a nice um, progression of colors. Or we could do them all different colors. We could pick the solids and just do solids, or we could pick the words and just do words. So it's going to be really fun to take these fabrics and figure out exactly what we're going to do. We haven't really opened this one. This is kind of, I think, the main big print in the line. And I wanted to take a look at this because this looked really interesting when she showed it on camera. So this again was another design that she did with the wood block and then rotated it to make it into several different sections. And I love how it's just right down the middle of the piece of fabric. So I've been putting a little thought into that and thinking that that might be really fun to fussy cut that section and use it for the spine on a bag or somewhere like that where it really shows up and, and features that. But layer upon layer upon layer of all these designs to make just a really beautiful fabric full of color, full of life, and, and full of lots of interest. So thank you so much, Valerie, for sharing this fabric with us. Thank you, Free Spirit, for including us in the fun. We can't wait to get started sewing.